Xenonauts, the strategic planetary defense simulator, is a PC game brought to us by indie studio Goldhawk Interactive and is a spiritual successor to the XCOM games. Your aim is to protect Earth from an alien invasion, and that means base building, researching technology, and whimpering behind your keyboard as you get slaughtered in combat. <laughs> Hexus game is super old school, and I know there are a lot of strategy fans out there who like their PC games to be brain taxingly unforgiving, but Xenonauts does very little to ease you in. The game kind of just starts, doesn't it, with no story to give you any context and no real tutorial aside from a vague PDF for you to read. Hmm. You're just left staring at a world map and a bunch of tabs that all relate to base management. Xenonauts just assumes you've played the old DOS XCOM from 1994 and then just leaves you to it. Interestingly, this game was kickstarted by fans who thought that the official Firaxis reboot from a couple of years ago, XCOM Enemy Unknown, simplified the core strategy a bit too much. Personally, I thought it modernised everything about the original, and it was excellent and visually impressive as well, but I do like that fans wanted this game to happen, and Xenonauts might be more faithful, but I think they've just put back in all that micromanagement stuff that the reboot did away with. Well, fans can be very precious, Barjo, and the devs are obviously fans themselves who wanted something more challenging, and there is an, absolutely an audience for that. It's niche, but it is there. Yeah, I guess so. Your geoscape is where you observe alien activity around the planet. Here you access your bases, managing your dwindling funds to slowly expand, research new tech, and fiddle with the loadouts of your troops. Yeah, and it's when you drop soldiers in to recover parts of a downed UFO or help liberate a city from alien forces that the fun really happens. Yes, under this very average looking hood is some gripping number crunching. It's all turn-based, of course, so you have to worry about whether your soldiers are crouched for better aim, if their line of sight is obscured, if they need to reload. Even rotating them on the spot uses up their precious time units. Yep, moving stuff around in your backpack is time penalised too. It's the sort of detail that really stresses you out. You invariably always stuff up your turn in some way and leave your troops vulnerable, and the aliens rarely miss their opportunity to fry you. It's punishing. Yes, it can be maddening, even tediously methodical at times, but after a while, Hex, I started to enjoy the challenge. If your soldiers survive to fight another day, their stats marginally improve. And then you're getting your hands on new gear, like better armor or vehicles, which makes you keen to get back into the battlefield to improve your tactics. At one point, I tried lining up the scout vehicle to pound the inside of a UFO with its machine gun. It only seemed to upset the aliens even more. Now, to be honest, those dated visuals didn't really do a lot to sell the experience very well. I mean, you spend more time staring at a giant hidden movement box than anything. I just felt a bit detached from it all. Yeah, me too. I also found the use of cover a bit confusing. I'd have a soldier standing behind a cover, only to find I couldn't shoot from there, so I'd have to move them out into open to get into line of sight. <laughs> Can't they just lean and shoot? You're also meant to protect random civilians on the map, but they tend to run around like chickens, making it almost impossible to prevent them from a miserable death. And Bajo, I kept stuffing those huge alien corpses into my backpacks because I thought you needed to retrieve them for research. Later, I found out that you automatically acquire everything on the map when you win it anyway, so all that precious gear I dropped. Ugh. Yes, that's you know not its big problem really. It just fails to communicate these little details to you. So you have to trawl forums just to find out how parts <laughs> of the game work. And it's also really hard to get a feel for how quickly you should spend your income without running yourself into financial ruin and an early game over. I was constantly reloading earlier saves. Well, that's a steep learning curve managing a global defense force. That's true. I was also always auto-resolving those airborne UFO encounters because manually controlling them felt like some kind of science in itself. Again, some sort of in-game tutorial would have been helpful. Yeah, look, overall I found Xenonauts a bit too impenetrable, so it didn't engage me, but I can appreciate the level of depth on offer here, so I'm giving it seven. Yeah, it's such a shame this game is presented so poorly, because it has all the gameplay of a classic strategy title, so I'm giving it seven and a half. And now it's time for the news with Goose. 